today I'm back with the book recommending video. So today's recommending book is called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So, so today I read the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory on the on the English book. So I read this book because first First, I read this book. Read this book, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, uh, in Korean first, and then, and then my mom uh, saw this on the library and just borrowed it. it this was a my mom was the very first person to borrow this because this book is really new. So I read this book and I was really happy to read this book because this is really clean and it was very fun because I really love this Charlie Ch and Chocolate Factory book. So I I saw a movie and that was also fantastic and then I read this so I read this in CD but but I read this in city, but I thought it was really, uh, you know, really fun and really easy to me. If it was not steady, I can read it. So, so I thought that, and it was really that easy. And can I tell you some story? So this story is like there was a very big and powerful. Factory and that called the uh, Winka Willis Chocolate Factory and Winka Willis is the legendary chocolate maker. So, but one day he sent all of the world a five golden ticket inside the chocolate factory. So on uh, Charlie Bucket was little poor poor guy and. And when he wrapped the chocolate wrapper, he found the golden ticket. So he went to chocolate factory, Wonka Village chocolate factory. After that, I don't want to spoil your fun and excitement about this book. So I'm not telling you the ending. And I really like this part. Like I really like sweet. I have the fa two favorite parts. So my first fa favorite part is. When the part that Charlie got golden, golden ticket, it was really exciting and heartwarming and so ex extraordinary. So I really like that part. This part, Charlie gets Charlie get the chocolate with his bound money, and then he gets the you know golden ticket. And then the second favorite part is yes, little. Uh, not that favorite but I really like this part because I really like sweat this part. So, it's... This part is really full of sweat. Basically, it's kind of... It's kind of like my thing. So, in this part, there is really lots of its name so basically I really liked it so I'll I'll read you because I want to tell you the sweet names specifically uh, wait a minute wait a minute guys and here it is so okay the rock candy mine uh, one million fifth step. Co coconut, 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 ice skating ring, strawberry juice water pistol, toffee apple trees for planting it out in your garden, all size, exploring switch for your enemies, lemon. Lumine, ah, Lumina 
just lollies for eating in bed at night, mint ju mint jujubes for the boy next door. They'll give him green kit for a month. Heavy filling caramels. No more than this. I really like this. A uh, strict job for talking, talk, talkative parents. Wiggle a switch that wriggles delightfully in your tummy after swallowing. Sugar coated pencil for sucking. Invisible chocolate bars for eating in class. Magic hand punch. When you hold it in your hand, you taste that in. It's in your mouth. Rainbow drops that suck them and you can spit in six different colors. So specifically and basically, I really like uh, my favorite switch. My, my favorite switch is this part and I found it so specifically and basically, I really like a uh, floor of it. So first, where is it? Cavity filling caramel. No more dentists because when I had a germ in my mouth, I when I ate this and it could fill up my teeth without germs. And then I really like invisible chocolate bars for eating in class. It would be really good in eating in class and and when I when I just do something with my mom mom or teacher that would that would do good. And and sugar coated pencil for sucking. When uh, I I read and I suck that pencil, how would it be so dramatic and suspicious? <laughs> and uh the last but not the least, magic hand punch. When you hold it in your hand, you take it in your mouth. So it it, this would be good when I can eat it right now. I just wrap it and hold it in my hands and I just feel that I just can't taste that pot. How would, how would <laughs> it do, how this, how do you think this? So, I really like this part. And I wanted to, I wanted to introduce a Baroque soul is a kid uh, who get everything she wants and I want to just tell tell Baraka Salt parent if you if you grow a kid like that when Baraka grows up she'll be naughty and just jart jart and you wouldn't grow your kids if you're a loving parent now you should you should teach your kids how to you should teach your kids a lesson. Just, uh, just treat your kids like a normal kid, okay? And so, see you guys in PS. Okay, I don't really like Varukasol's parents because they're ruining their kids. See you in PS. Bye, friends. Please read this. PS. So... There is a relating story that boom this called Charlie Charlie and Great Great Glass Elevator. Yeah, Charlie and Charlie and a Great Glass Elevator. So I really love read this fun and you should read this too. So I can I recommend you this book because because Specifically, this is really fun and just give us really touching story and this movie is really fun and so I recommend you to first read this uh, Korean book or this book. No, first uh, read books and then uh, see a movie, a movie or you can just saw a movie and then read both. They will do really good for reading or sing. So, <laughs> bye friend, uh, thank you for watching. Bye, see you tomorrow. PPS. So, 
So yesterday was the last ca last day at a Christmas camp, and it was a re and it was uh, also a rehearsal day, and I think we did fine, but really more great and real real orchestra uh, play. And September. So bye guys, thank you for watching. See you guys later on.